Coming up on today's video, we have a lot of new integrations and developments, such as new mobile applications and exchange. There is a new cryptocurrency backed loans that help you earn interest with Dash. Also, there is a very exciting blockchain technology development soon to be released by Dash Core Group. There's a lot more to cover from there, so don't go anywhere. Hi, and welcome to Dash News Recap. My name's Heidi, and this video is dedicated to keeping you up to date on all of the Dash News highlights. So links to all of the news articles can be found down below in the video description. So let's get started. It has been a very productive few weeks for Dash, and I'm very excited and happy to be able to share these new and important developments with you. So sit tight, listen up, and let's all get caught up on what's been happening with Dash lately. Hey Dash fans, I am pleased and excited to report to you all that Sporks 15 and 16 have been activated on the Dash network. So what does this mean and why is this so important? Good question. These two Spork activations finalize the version 0.13 upgrade. Spork 15 has activated deterministic masternode lists allowing masternode operators to split their keys into collateral keys, operator keys, and voter keys. Spark 16 brings automatic instant send, which allows around 90% of transactions to be locked in under two seconds for less than a penny, which completes a key merchant adoption issue. If you're scratching your head right now asking yourself what the heck is a spork, don't worry, I'll explain. A spork is a multi-phased fork and is a mechanism unique to Dash that is used to safely deploy new features to the network through network level variables to avoid the risk of unintended network forking during upgrades. Now, if you wanna learn more about Sporks and its origin story, make sure you read the article. On Wednesday, the 10th of April, Dash had its near yearly block reward reduction. So Dash decreased its block reward by 7.14%. Now this is done to ensure that Dash has a limited supply of coins, but also allows a smoother transition to a fees-based network. Now Dash's block reward reduction takes place roughly every 383 days and is much more gradual than Bitcoin's 50% decrease every four years. Now, why is this important to know? A more gradual decrease allows more time to increase the number of transactions to provide enough incentive for miners and masternodes to secure the network and fund treasury projects on fees alone. The block reward reduction is also known as the coin emission rate. Having a limited supply of coins upholds the principles of sound money mitigating inflation. The Dash DAO Irrevocable Trust concluded its first election for trust protectors in a historical first for self-governing decentralized systems. The Dash DAO Irrevocable Trust is a New Zealand-based legal entity that is controlled by the Dash network and allows the network to legally own property such as Dash Core Group. Now, the trust protectors direct the work of the trustee who carries out the will of the masternode network. This represents another step of Dash actually actually achieving a self-sustaining decentralization model that meshes with real-world legal structure. According to Dash Core Group CEO Ryan Taylor, this represents a clear break from the all-too-common model in cryptocurrency of running systems with minimal accountability to their user base. Exciting times indeed. Congratulations to the six trust protectors elected. Wouldn't it be great if you could easily discover local Dash accepting merchants wherever you are, including Dash ATMs straight from your mobile device? Well, now you can. Discover Dash has partnered with mobile app development group Really Bad Apps to produce a streamlined, dedicated mobile version of the app for Android. Now, the mobile version of Discover Dash offers geolocation, so now you can effortlessly locate Dash merchants closest to you. The mobile app is available to download now from the Google Play Store. Also, make sure to check out the article link, which includes a video promo showcasing the app as well as an app review video. 
If you thought those developments were awfully exciting, then keep on watching because there is a whole lot more dashy goodness to celebrate. So now let's take a look at some of the services and platforms that have integrated with Dash. The popular cryptocurrency lending platform SALT has added support and is now accepting Dash directly as collateral. In addition to this, SALT has also created a bespoke solution for individuals that operate Dash masternodes. Now, this new service means that they can still operate masternodes and continue to receive Dash block reward payouts for providing a service to the network and keeping their voting rights, while also being able to use it as collateral on SALT. This is a pretty cool and unique solution as this will also help Dash users to live off of crypto without being forced to sell, which also helps lower volatility. The Celsius Network announced this week that Dash users can now earn interest on their Dash and take out USD loans against their Dash with no minimum or maximum lockup. Dash holders can earn a very competitive 7.5% return, which is currently the highest available on that platform, and also borrow with very competitive rates that vary based on the coin and collateral. The Celsius Network platform enables various security measures, such as locking in external receiving wallets, to prevent a hacker from redirecting their funds to their wallet. Let me know what you think about this integration in the comment section below. This week, Julian Assange, the founder of the government transparency platform WikiLeaks, was arrested by UK police. Now, after an outpouring of support and requests from the Dash community, the WikiLeaks shop now accepts Dash. The quick integration helps illustrate the speed at which cryptocurrency and the internet can make changes when compared to old world finance and society. Now for some exchange action. DAXs, the popular Latin American cryptocurrency exchange, has integrated Dash with a direct Colombian peso pairing, including a zero fee promotion for the next month. They will also be partnering with the blockchain center Colombia to host meetups in Bogota and Medellin in an attempt to raise more awareness and adoption. This integration will help expand the liquidity of Dash in the region that is rapidly onboarding merchants. As user and merchant adoption continue to expand the Dash ecosystem, we're seeing a lot more Dash exposure and outreach. So here are a few recent media highlights about Dash that I would love to share with you. And I strongly recommend that you check them out if you haven't done so already. Amanda B. Johnson has published a new video highlighting the features of the upcoming Dash version 0.14 release, which is currently on testnet in preparation before its mainnet launch. Amanda explains how Dash is upgrading its existing quorum technology to long-living masternode quorums and how Spork 20 in 0.14 release enables LLMQ-enabled instant send, which is a chaining of instant send transactions. So what does that mean exactly? It means Dash can be used in multiple instant send transactions one after the other without having to wait for one on-chain confirmation. Very exciting times indeed. Dash continues to lead from the front, innovating and pioneering new blockchain solutions, delivering on its digital cash mission objective. Can you live off cryptocurrency 100%? Well, I now know one man who does just that. Here is Kurt Robinson from the YouTube channel, The Paradise Paradox, interviewing Joel Valenzuela about how he got rid of his bank account to only live off of Bitcoin, and then how he had a switch to Dash when Bitcoin's fees started increasing with artificial block size limitations. They also discuss the principles of sound money, some examples of failed currencies, and how Dash and cryptocurrency can rectify those issues. Grab some popcorn and beverages, folks. This one is an essential viewing for cryptocurrency advocates. Did you know Papa John's Pizza in Venezuela accepts Dash digital cash? Yes, it's true. Here is a video of Dash news presenter Isabel in Caracas paying for pizza with Dash digital cash in Venezuela. Make sure to check out the Dash News YouTube channel for more videos of Isabel paying at other merchants such as Church's Chicken with Dash. Thank you for watching this Dash News recap. I hope that you found this video to be informative. 
Again, all links to the news stories can be found down below in the video description. Please hit that like button, smash for dash. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and if you care to share it out, we'd appreciate that too. It's bye for now, but remember, stay dashy.